So we're here at the 2018 Portland International Auto Show and we're looking at a brand new Wrangler JL. This is a Rubicon version. So with the Rubicon you're going to get a whole bunch of different things including a larger wheel and tire. You're going to get uh, different fender flares. These fender flares here, these are actually a high top fender flare. So you can go ahead and see for instance, see how high up on the fenders these are? Okay. If you walk over to, say, this Sahara JL, you'll notice that there's more fender up here. So on the Rubicon, you're looking at more ground clearance uh, with the fender flares. Another thing you're going to look at on the Wrangler uh, Rubicon version, you're going to get the factory rock sliders down here. So that's going to be great for off-road and not having to worry about bashing up your quarter panels or your rocker panels. So, give you a walk around here, you can see that the, the grill is slightly different than the uh, JL, or excuse me, JK. There's a waterfall style treatment that is almost similar to a CJ, which is pretty neat. Uh, you're going to get the modular steel bumper that's going to have uh, wings that di uh, disconnect so you will have the ability to have sort of a stubby bumper that increases your approach angles when you are off-roading. You'll also notice on the fenders here you're going to have integrated uh, turn signals, integrated uh, indicators, which is different. The front windshield rakes back farther than a JK, which helps with aerodynamics, I'm sure. And you can see that they've added vents here in the fenders. On the Rubicons, you also get to have the vents in the hood, which is kind of a neat treatment as well. It looks really, really good. Uh, I think Jeep did a great job redesigning this. You've got the, uh, the LED headlights. You've got the factory BFGs. You've got your hard top. You can see they've integrated rain gutters. It's almost like a step backwards in time, but they are so versatile for racking, which I'm sure is why they did it. So on the inside, you can see the JL has uh, some really nice features, beautifully done. Uh, this one is fully freaking loaded. So it's got leather interior, uh, a lot of the niceties. It's got, I think they said this has seven or nine USB ports too. And you know what? Years ago, we would have probably laughed at that because who needs all that stuff, right? Well, as somebody who has just spent 10 days out in Death Valley, I can tell you GPS, phone, and other accessories are all nice things to have plugged in and charged, especially when you have three phones, GPS, all that. So you can see we've got uh, the, the rear here of the JL. We've got a backup camera integrated into the spare tire. Uh, they've moved the location for the license plate down. Another really cool thing about the interior of the JL, you've got a track system on the back here with integrated D-rings. So these D-rings allow you to stow stuff and stash stuff. Then down here, you also have those D-rings in a track-mounted floor system. So you're able to tie things down, great for storage and all that stuff. You've got an integrated subwoofer over here. You can see the roll bar is nicely color coordinated. So when you do have this hard top off, you're able to uh, have a nice body matched roll bar. This is kind of a cool feature too. The JL uh, specs here on the door. There's a lot to uh, lot to see with the JL. We'll be giving you a closer look as time progresses here about the uh, about the JL. This, by the way, here's a little. Thing. This is actually blind spot warning sensor. So there's all kinds of little things that aren't super obvious, but that you have been uh, that, that they've nicely incorporated into this vehicle, and we're looking forward to spending some more time with the JL, maybe even taking one off road and on road and seeing how it does. That's all from the 2018 Portland International Auto Show. Thanks for watching.